I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Charleston Force because we're going to force hands in pre-selected categories. I have one for every category on the card. You might ask, why is this a good exercise? I think it's good for a couple of reasons. One, it forces you to play outside your comfort zone. Also, if you ever plan to play in a tournament or a special event where there are prizes for hands won in pre-selected categories, you'll be prepared and could even come home a winner. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to force hands in these categories only. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer, so we'll have 14 tiles, then 13, then 14, and I'll create a mock Charleston with no jokers. We have a pair of flowers, northwest, one, three, six, seven, eight, pair of eights in the dots. And then in cracks, we have one, three, eight. If these were your tiles, which of these categories would you force? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would force consecutive run around these eights. So I would keep consecutive tiles and pass those. Maybe those three gather around the eight. We got an eight. Let's pass these three. Seven, eight. Seven, eight, eight, six, seven, eight flowers. We have two tiles to pass. We're on the first left. So we need to come up with a plan here for consecutive run. I think I would probably play six, seven, eight in one suit. This would be the fourth hand down or the fifth hand down in one suit. So I think what I would do is pass an eight and then save these for maybe the next pass and break them up a little. Focus on dots. We've got a six. Since it's consecutive, I would keep it we might be able to do six, seven, eight in mixed suits or six, seven, eight. Let's see, it would be this, let's see, six, seven, eight or six, seven, eight. So pass these three. We got a seven. Here's a five, two, five, six, seven, eight. We're on a cross, we have to pass. So we have the two one suit options with flowers are three numbers in a range. So I would let the five go. If we have six, seven, eight, crack, bam, dot, I would let the eight go. Hold this for a mixed suit option. That would be and five on the right. Five. We could do five, six, seven, eight. 
or on last right. I think I would let the five go. Seven, we've got a keeper maybe. I think maybe I would try for the fourth hand down, pair, pong, kong. But we could still do six, seven, if we get the eight bam back. So here we have a seven, maybe break that up and pass fully. We did not get the eight bam, we did get an eight crack. But I think what I would do is focus here, six, seven, eight. Maybe keep the five because we could do maybe five through nine if we get nine dots and then use this for jokers and exposures if it were to happen during the game. So we have a hand, no gaps with an option and four discards for consecutive run. We have a joker, a west and a south, a pair of white dragons, six, seven in bams, three, four, seven in cracks with a pair of threes and a six, seven dot. If these were your tiles, would you do a year hand or would you play winds and dragons? If these were my tiles, I would focus on winds and dragons or a year hand, but I would keep the sevens and the three. It has to be one or the other because we have three tiles to pass, including like numbers. And I do not typically pass like numbers. I think it is a step down from passing a pair because there are like numbers all over the card. So I think what I would do is either give up sevens or one of the threes. We could do north and south with sevens, for example, and all three are represented. So I think I would go with that. Pass those three. We've got a south and a two, and we have tiles we can pass. We can play a year hand, or we could play Winds and Dragons. This is gonna be a little risky to keep, but we could maybe play North and South with sevens. We could also play a year hand. We really don't need two dragons. We really need one, 2021. Since we're forcing a hand, I think I would break up the white dragon sooner rather than later. Let it go. We got a seven. I think I would focus on like numbers with sevens and north and south. Now we did get a two here. If we play north and south with sevens, we don't need a west. Let's give up on the year. We got a seven. 
that solidifies it for me. I would let the West go. This is going to be a little bit risky because of the year. No keepers, and we have like numbers. We are on a cross pass. I think passing like numbers is more risky than passing a white dragon. So I think I would pass a white dragon in this case. Seven. Oh, this is going to be a little risky too. But we have no gap. Well, we do have a gap. We have no north. We need a north. But we have our sevens. We just need a little help with that seven dot. I would risk it. Maybe pass off suit. Oh, you know what? We're on last right. We could pass blind. I think that's what I would do. Pass blind. No keepers. We have four discards for north and south with sevens. Odds go with north and south. This is the second hand down under Winds and Dragons. Pair, Pung, Pair, Pung, Kong. So it would be Pair, Pung, Pair, Pung, Kong. We need a little work. North and South with sevens. Oh, you know what? I forgot to do optional cross. Let's do optional cross. Oh, we got the white dragon back. I think I would just discard those. Same result. Joker, two, three, four, nine in BAMs, one, two, three, nine in dots with a pair of twos, three, six, seven, eight in cracks. We need to make a year hand work, so we're going to hold year tiles. Four. We have all those to let go of. We have a lot of three, six, nine in here. If we weren't forcing a hand, I'd probably play one, two, three consecutive run, leveraging the twos. As a fallback, maybe we could even do that. Just keep those one, two, three, four, but focus on the year. Pass those three. That's a little risky. So maybe give up on the four. Pass one of each suit. So we're looking for year tiles. White dragon and a two. I would probably at this point let the threes go. So let's pass a three six dragon. Thinking about the next pass, we have an eight in there. Two. We picked up a pair of nines for joker bait potential. We have a l several passes to go. I'd break it up because we don't want to get stuck with a pair if we get everything we want. So here's three, seven, nine for maybe a next pass. Let's let these go. We got a flower and a wind. I would keep it because there is a hand in the winds and dry or actually we need to focus on the year category. We have a flower and mixed suits, so I think I would let the north go in this case. And then break up the sevens so we're not left with like numbers. We got a one. Keep it. Continue to gather. Now this is a little bit risky, but at least it's one of each suit. Two. Two, two, two. Discards. 
white dragon and we have two discards there two zero two zero one two two zero two one two zero two one one and two or I'm sorry two and one first hand under the year flower two zero one two two zero two one two we need a one bam or a one crack one or the other we really don't need this unless we were to do two one no let's do this one two zero two zero two one and we could play that second hand down that would go away two zero two one second hand down and pass fully no gaps no keepers so we have five discards but we're one away from set we could pung kong pung all we need is a little bit of help with our kongs for the year i would keep these see what comes in because there is potential for the first and even the third hand we have discards so we would gather american mahjong is very flexible you can make just about anything work with the right decisions at the right time if you have a set of tiles at home create your own category strips and try this exercise if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.